Don't wait. If we as parents can give them a better quality of life, why would we wait? I would do it in a heartbeat. We would go anywhere in the world just to give him what he's gotten. My name is Jennifer Hudnall. My son is Ryler Hudnall. He's 11 years old and we are from Houston, Texas. He's in regular school. He goes to public school. He loves baseball, uh, loves anything musical, very much loves anything instruments and music. We found out at three and a half years old. Uh, in Texas, they don't let you get any testing until after three years old. And to be quite honest, we weren't really sure. We didn't know a whole lot about autism at that point. So our journey began then. Um, he had all his testing done, got our diagnosis, which we had no idea that's what it would even be. We knew there was delays and he never did anything on time. We knew there was something, we just didn't quite know what. So that's what led us to just reading and talking to other people where we then ran into a family that has came here before. Um, they told us about Stem Cell Institute, and we've reached out, and that's what led us to here. The first signs, I would say he was very nonverbal. The communication we could tell was definitely off. He would always scream or point or just different noises and flaps. So we as his parents learned how to communicate with him, but no one else really could. The eye contact was never there um, from very early on. I noticed that, like I would say his name, and he just really didn't respond. We came in 2018 was our first treatment. After the first time that Rowler came here, with before we even left for the plane, he was already trying to verbally talk to us. He was talking a few words before we left here, which was, I mean, for any parent, that's just something, if that's all we got, we would have been happy. So when we say we've seen significant gains, it was life-changing for us. Um, one other thing was the eye contact. So by 60 days, he was making eye contact like, I would say 60% better. He's very, very talkative now. I mean, he's reading. We never even expected him to read. He's excelling in school. And we're excited to see what the second treatment's gonna do. Couldn't ask for better staff. Everybody's wonderful. I mean, Especially traveling out of the country for us, that's very scary to not really know anything or anybody, and they've just made it easy. The doctor we had today, we really love him. Like, he just broke everything down and didn't mind spending that extra time in there educating us about stem cells for adults, and we've had a bunch of questions, and he's been willing to sit there and explain them all, and that's a big deal too to us. If we get anything to give our kid a better quality of life, if it's the littlest thing, we're gonna take it. We were just like, if we get anything out of it, that means something to us. To get that much out of it was life-changing for him and for us, because it is a whole family issue. It was life-changing for our entire family. I'm telling you, we had major, like it gives me chills because you don't know until you're there until it's your life and your situation and your kid. We just want Ryler to live his best life. And in order to do that, it's taking this, stem cells. So at least we have it. So we're very grateful.